This is not an easy place to explore. Natural Trap Cave is an eight-story sinkhole in the Bighorn Mountains. It's usually covered by a heavy iron grate. This is where prehistoric animals fell to their deaths for more than 100,000 years. Now scientists rappel in to unlock the secrets from their bones. Once off the pavement, it's a two-hour drive over very rugged terrain in a four-wheel drive to get to the site. But well worth it for scientists who want to find the remains of mammoths, ancient bison, sheep, and more. What's unusual about this cave is a very high concentration of quite strange carnivores most people wouldn't even know about. So you've got an American lion, it's about 20% bigger than the African one now, which if you've seen one, is a pretty big animal. You have an American cheetah. Dr. Alan Cooper is from the Australian Center for Ancient DNA. That's what he's here to retrieve. If you're going to try and understand how the modern environment will change and will keep changing with global warming and the like, you need to understand what the background was. How was that system set up to work in the first place? And the only answer to that is down there in the DNA. Paleontologist Julie Meachin brought them together for a three-year study. Our funders this year are National Geographic, and for future funding, uh, we are getting a grant from the National Science Foundation. The Federal Bureau of Land Management owns the land here and allows only scientists into the cave. Natural Trap Cave is a world-class paleontological site. It is, it is a site that is known throughout the scientific community, and it's one that has a tremendous story yet to be told. So for the next two weeks, scientists will go in, DNA and fossils will come out, destined for museums, and labs. From the Big Corn Mountains in Wyoming, I'm Penny Preston for NBC News.